Celebration Anaheim 501st Party. Here we are. We are the Comlink. If you have a chance, if you haven't done it yet, please subscribe. We have a good friend of mine, somebody that you guys know. You've probably visited his booth today, and if you haven't, what's wrong with you? Mr. Steve Sansweet. JC, great to be here. So Thank you thank for you. being thank on you. the show. Okay. My pleasure. Now, what is it you're doing here? Uh, enjoying celebration on steroids. Uh, this is the most amazing celebration, and I'm, I'm sort of the father, or one of the grandfathers of uh, celebration. We started it back in 1999, and who knew that it would continue? This is now the 10th celebration. We've done it in a number of countries, and it's going to con obviously continue strong. So, and you've been to all of them. I have been to all of them. You've been a large part of all of them. And I have I managed them through Celebration 5 with Mary Franklin. So. And so when you say this is the best one, you know what you're talking about. I know what I'm talking about. From the first one, we survived the downpours in Denver and the mud and the flooded tents, uh, and all the way through the... The anniversary and, you know, there is always somebody who tries to guy. break in and who is so desperate for publicity. Who is this guy? I don't know. He was up here for an hour before talking to some of his friends and My. apparently wasn't enough time. My God. So here I just, he goes. You know, yakety yak. Wow. Ooh. Ooh, beautiful. There we go. Now, here's the thing. This video is now the certificate of authenticity for that that guy who got his card signed. Well, I think that guy should make a donation to Rancho Obi-Wan. <laughs> there we go. All right. So, what what for the people who are here, for the people who are watching at home? What what are some of the coolest things you've seen this time around? Well, I must say that the Rancho Obi-Wan exhibit is uh, very cool. We we really decided this is our third celebration as Rancho Obi Wan. You know, I own the world's largest collection of Star Wars memorabilia. We now have it in a nonprofit museum north of San Francisco, and we have been to two other celebrations. But this one, we decided to honor the creativity and the passion of fellow fans and bring art and fan made artifacts, and it's worked out really well. So I've stopped by, and there is the most incredible piece of art that you guys are displaying. Talk a little bit about that because it's it's something I think everybody would want on, in their living room, but I don't think anybody has a living room big enough for it. To, what are you doing with that? Well, this is the public premiere of uh, Robert Xavier Burden's amazing oil painting, the largest Star Wars oil painting ever done, eight feet tall by 15 feet wide based on the original trilogy action figures and toys that he had as a kid and played with. And he does a lot of these giant canvases on pop culture. And this one has a lot of Easter eggs in it. I mean, there's a picture. Uh, who's that guy? That's Joseph Campbell. Why do you have Yul Brynner there in a cowboy hat? Well, that's from the Magnificent Seven based on Kurosawa, which George... I think uh, I saw Flash Gordon in there. Flash Gordon, Nikto, Barada, Claytu, and Gort. Uh, so it's just, but it's beautiful. It's luminous. It's it looks like a, a, an Iranian rug, a tapestry, and it's amazing. And and Robert has let us do two prints from this to sell for Rancho Obi Wan. So it's a gorgeous. That's cool. It, I mean, if you haven't seen it, if you're in celebration, if you're going to be at celebration, you haven't seen it. Us talking about it won't do it you really have to go see it and maybe even pick up a print i will probably pick them up they're matching they're kind of like side by side matching yeah right? they're the light side and dark side it, action figures so but beautiful oh that's what oh that's uh, so cool yeah so yeah. what else is at rancho obi-wan here that people need to see i have my favorites well but. you know and we've put it all in a book so we've been working on this for nine months so we could do a book in advance and um, we have a book called, um, I wish I remember the name of the book, but um, um, Inspired by the Force. And it's the first of a series of books that we're going to do under the Rancho Obi-Wan label. And uh, it features a lot of the same things that we have here and the stories behind them. But we, I am so inspired by fans who are inspired. You never know what the mashups are going to come out of. There is a Spanish fan 
who uh, used the famous anti war painting by Pablo Picasso, Guernica, and has done a version based on the Battle of Hoth called Guern Echo. So it's the, it's the imperial invasion of the rebel base on Hoth. And it's amazing. There's another painting there, you look at it, and there is a bloodthirsty Ewok and stormtroopers and, you know, just cut off pieces. Shameless plug, you can see that painting on the Halloween episode of the Comlink featuring the Halloween merchandise from Rancho Obi-Wan. Well, and this is... He's back again. This is the Who people is in it? the room's way of getting a certificate of authenticity. James is actually signing this. If you James who? If it goes... James Taylor. James He's a Ta musician. Oh, I love your music, sir. Love your music. Could you do a little of it for us? <laughs> eBayers beware. <laughs> we don't want to see this on eBay. This is a personal collection item. There it is. So this is, I, I was talking about the bloodthirsty Ewoks, and this is based on a Goya print. Francisco Goya, famous Spanish artist, who did a series of prints in the early 1800s called the Horrors of War, when Napoleon's troops invaded Spain and massacred the population. And he's turned it into a Return of the Jedi scene with bloodthirsty Ewoks and stormtroopers. It's really cool. It's let, amazing. Let me ask you, and I don't think people realize this, but you have so much stuff at Rancho Obi-Wan that I've, I've been there five times, and every time I've gone, I'm going again next Wednesday. Every time I've gone, you see different things, right? It's not like, it's not a, uh, you do it once and you're done. Well, there's so many things to look at and we keep changing displays out, we keep adding things, so there is always something to do. I, I, I just waved to this cute couple down there do that I had the honor of marrying this morning. It's the first marriage ceremony done on the floor of celebration ever. and. John and Melissa Graber. And That's cool. Do, do you guys want to come up? Come on up, guys. You want to talk? As they come up, I want to, I want to say, and you can echo this: is the coolest part about celebration, realistically. And you and I sat pretty much next to each other and watched the Force Awakens trailer. That was awesome. But the coolest part about Star Wars Celebration is the love of all the Star Wars fans and all the people who you are. You lost your here. husband already. I I just, I, I lost just, my husband already. I just married you guys. What, what the, what the heck? <laughs> okay. You never know what's going to happen on the Comlink, live from Celebration Anaheim. Well, We've hello. just lost our host, but don't ma It doesn't matter. <laughs> Oh, he's coming back. I'm <laughs> sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, anyway, I got an email out of the blue months ago from John who said, would you marry my intended and me at Celebration? And I said, well, you know, I've, I've done about eight marriages to date and um, never done one. We've done commitment ceremonies at Celebration, light side and dark side. And I said, well, what did you have in mind? Oh, and, you know, we talked back and forth, and he said, oh, by the way, I'm not going to propose until we're on the train from Indiana to Anaheim. Yeah, okay, I heard you say that you did about eight ceremonies previous, and, and this is, I'm just curious, are, are those still working right now? Are, are, have they lasted? The, uh, oh, they, thank they, God. You have a money-back guarantee. <laughs> okay, thank you. And if anything happens, the power of the Sith comes down and haunts you forever. Oh, oh, not so, me. Uh, not him. Money, money-back guarantee. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. Well, I, With every marriage. Thank With you. With every marriage. Thank you. So uh, I was a little concerned, and he said, oh, don't worry, she'll say yes. He was pretty confident. I did. So, I did. And she said yes. And he was so confident that he texted me and said, she said yes, exclamation, exclamation. <laughs> so I don't think he was as confident as he said he was. I was. I was. <laughs> I was. Okay, wait. He said yeah, or I said yes. And then he said, 
That's good because we're getting married on Friday. Yes. All a huge surprise, and you are wonderful. It and was so great. We, yeah, thank you. And we've been we've been working on this secretly for yeah. many months. And we yeah. had 501st and Rebel Legion. We had R2D2, and we had the daughter of one of our good friends who was there in costume. She, and she was beautiful. Was dressed, she was dressed. She's about nine or ten. She was dressed as Padme, and she was the ring bearer. It yeah. was just she was, it was she beautiful. Was beautiful. Uh, yeah, it was beautiful. great. It was great. It was great. So when you're ready to get married, JC, we can either do it at a celebration. Yeah. You know what? I, I teased my girlfriend about that. And uh, she goes, I'm not coming if you don't promise me that that is not going to happen what? this weekend. <laughs> oh. Well, we do all kinds I think, of... But we, I think we, what, she wa what, what she meant was she wants to wait till celebration eight. Oh. Right? The next one. Yes. It was just too soon. Right? Yes. If well, it's really, there, it'll like, really be celebration eleven, because <laughs> this is this is the tenth celebration. Yes, I'm if sorry. The the U.S. based celebration. U.S. based celebration. I haven't had the, the good fortune to travel overseas, so I can only speak as a as a not a globe trotting exciting guy. Next I th time. I think well, you we, we do. do it. We actually we did a marriage at Rancho Obi Wan last year. We're doing another one in October. And we're, we're doing a lot more events. We had the, uh, we had the uh, rap party for Rebels, the Star Wars Rebels uh, uh, animated show at Rancho a couple of weeks ago. It was great. Just great. So, also, Rancho Obi-Wan just, it's a, in a beautiful part of California. So it, if you are thinking about a special event, I know I'm like really plugging it, but I love going up there. I go probably like twice a year. Like, have you guys been up there yet? No. I, I, well, oh my gosh, no, honeymoon! I, I want to be remarried there next time we come out. <laughs> so, so speaking of Rancho Obi Wan, when I first came to this, I was like, I just want to get married and be done with it. And what we saw today was up and over the top of anything I could ever imagine. We went back to the hotel room. The first conversation that we had as a married couple was I think we need to do something for that and uh, so we did decide and I, I just spoke to Steve about this I said do you have can I donate to your museum is there a charity you have because we really appreciate yeah. what what he's done yeah so uh, I am going to write a check out right now and I encourage anybody else to do this uh, I'm gonna write a check for $250 which is not a lot of money but we're poor for what he does what he's done for us, it, it was special. It was special. It was wonderful to do. A wonderful Thank couple. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, think, I think I've made some new friends oh, today. Yes. Yeah, oh, yes. Oh, yes. All right. Oh. Here we go. When he says he's going to write a check yeah, down, he, he really he means, means it. He means right now. Check, literally. Oh, yeah. Account. Literally. <laughs> so this has, been, this has been an amazing celebration. Uh, again, the largest celebration ever. The most number of fans, we probably had about 40,000 people through here today alone. Tomorrow, Saturday, is always the busiest day. So uh, I, I think, you know, there was a, there was a two-hour line just to get in if you had tickets because it was, it was so busy. We snuck these guys in because we couldn't wait till noon to marry them. He's serious. So, well, I was afraid she might back out. So, uh, no, never, <laughs> never, no. No, it was, it was, it blew my mind. It was unbelievable. Wow. Okay, so if this check bounces, all of you are witnesses. <laughs> and James Arnold Teller said that he will make good on this. And in fact, I, I believe, double, I think James, double the amount of. <laughs> I, I, I do believe that James Arnold Taylor, being the fan that he is, should match that check to Rancho Obi-Wan. He needs to work a little more. <laughs> So this is a donation. This is the couple I married on the floor at Rancho Obi Wan this morning, and we did a wonderful ceremony with R2 and 501st and Rebel Legion members and a 12-year-old ring bearer dressed as Padme, and uh, it was amazing. It was wonderful. So, so this is, and this this is, is a donation, donation to Rancho Obi Wan. It's a, it's a thank you. A gift. It's a thank you. Well, I'll tell you what. If, if somebody out here Can, will match it. I will match that. Okay, here we go. Rancho Obi-Wan. Here so, we go. So, 
Steve Sansweet has a check for Rancho Obi-Wan for $250. If we can get somebody else to match that $250, I will match the $500 for Rancho Obi-Wan. So Come on, somebody can do this. It is a tax-deductible donation. But th that's so, not the reason. Um, that's uh, not the reason. No, but that helps. So if somebody here wants to match that to help fund this amazing place, this magical place known as Rancho Obi-Wan, put together by this magical man whom I love dearly, Steve Sansweet, and all the hard work he puts in, the tireless hours he and Ann and Concetta and everybody there put together. Do we have a taker? Bob and Do everyone we have a taker? there. If somebody matches that 250, you will match it. All right, I will match the 250 and 250. And now we've got a thousand bucks for Rancho Obi Wan. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we, we take we take charge too at the booth. Come by tomorrow. So thank you very much. Wow. Oh, holy cow. Thank you, James. We have we have James's uh, Obi Wan suit, the one that the Disney company made for James to um, to host Star Wars weekends, and he also wore it at Celebration oh, Celebration Six on the main stage. So it's a real life Obi Wan costume that looks like what Obi Wan looked like in season five and six, or season six. Or, Four, five, and six. So you, that's when the style changed on all of the characters. So it's standing right next to Darth Vader because we love to balance the light side and the dark side. So now today, I, I've gone and I know your collection. Thank you, James. I, I've gone. Thank you. I've gone through Rancho Obi Wan, and then today was the first time I went through it before she came in. I did not know everything you had in your booth today was fan made. I did make a Jedi holocron little box to put her ring in when I proposed to her. And I asked Steve, I said, I would actually be honored if you would keep this in your booth until Sunday and then I'll come grab it from you. And before we left today, we walked by. There were people taking pictures of the box I made. I was like, oh my God, this is so bright. He's going to pass out. <laughs> I he, know. He, he's going to pass don't, out from the excitement. Don't let him drink anymore. Oh, or, or the drinking. I don't know. All right, we're going to get out of your hair. Thank you guys yeah, yeah, so thank much. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate thank you. it. Again, Again. You, you, you are awesome. Thank you very, very much. Appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate man. it. Let's hear it for the newly married couple, the Grievers. All right. Do you have a few more minutes yep. for us? Yeah, I do. All right, here we go. We've got some uh, some questions from our okay. fans on Great. the live stream. Okay. The uh, the first one is from Cam Miller Films, and he is interested to know: Are there any Force Awakens props you already want from uh, to put in Rancho Obi Wan? Oh yes, I would kill for a BB-8. Uh, I got so excited when that droid. I knew it was a practical prop. A lot of people thought it was CG, and I was told it was practical. And I thought, that's hard to believe. And seeing that live on the stage just sent goosebumps and shivers up my spine. Not because I, I wanted to own it. I mean, I'm only kidding. I can't even imagine. I, but I want to find out what it took to develop that. And the technology, and how did they make that? But I'm sure there's going to be a BB-8 toy that you can do remote no, control with. You know who might be able to help with that question? Who's that? I know Grant Imahara is running around the 501st party. I'm sure if, he could answer Grant, that question I'm sure, for you. I'm you sure he him. could. Grant is the master of robotics, as we know. So, uh, and, and a hell of a nice guy, too. So. Yeah, and actually, do we have Grant and Fawn? No? Coming up, maybe. That would be well, cool. People, they may stop by. But yeah, I do have one item already from Episode 7. There was an internal auction at Lucasfilm, and I'm still an independent contractor, so I was able to take part. It's an Episode 7 crew hat that Kathleen Kennedy had signed. She signed it, J.J. Abrams, John Boyega, Daisy Ridley, Oscar Isaac, Anthony Daniels, Peter Mayhew, Carrie Fisher, and um, 
guy named Harrison Ford. So I'm still missing Mark Hamill. He wasn't there that day, but I think we'll 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 try to get that tomorrow. So that was a <laughs> All cool right, piece. guys. And that was and that was an auction. Every year Lucasfilm raises lots of money for the AIDS and breast cancer emergency funds of San Francisco, and that's where all of that money went to. Guys, let's hear it for Steve Sansweet. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Thank Check out Rancho Obi Wan. We're gonna go away for like two seconds and we'll be back with Grant and uh, Fawn Davis. Oh, or they're gonna be right here right now.